Hello everyone. Uh, so now I'm going to take a little break from the normal analysis we've been doing and show you guys some more advanced tactics with CAD. So our analysis on the duct is with a straight portion of the duct. But what happens if uh, if the duct was curved? Well, you couldn't use the extrude and revolve features we did earlier to create the model. What you would have to do is use a sweep method to create the curved part of the duct. And I'm going to show you guys how you would do that. So I already opened up the geometry portion in ANSYS. Uh, first thing you always want to do is make sure you're in the right units. Right now I'm in meter and degree. Uh, I want inches. So I'm going to go up to units, go down to inch. So the sweep method is right up here. I'm going to click on it just so we can see what we need. So for the sweep method, we need a profile and we need a path. The profile is going to be, in our case, the cross section of the duct, which is a circle. The path is going to be, uh, if you looked really far back at where the duct was going, that's going to be our path. So in our case, the path is going to be uh, just a curve, and the profile, like I said earlier, is going to be a circle. So I'll, I'll delete the suite for now. Uh, there's better ways than other to uh, create this model. I'm just going to show you guys the best way to do it. Um, there are other ways to do it, but they take more time. And uh, some ways uh, you can't easily modify the dimensions later. Uh, if your boss comes to you and says, okay, we're changing the diameter of the duct to the size, um, it's a little harder to do. So I'm just going to do the best way. So first I'm going to create the profile. Or excuse me, I'm going to create the path. And the path is just going to be a curved line. Uh, if you're doing an analysis, you would want a straight portion coming in to the curved uh portion of the duct. So I'm going to create uh, a longer straight portion of the duct into the curve. So I'm going to select the XY plane and then click the new sketch tab. Uh, I'm going to use a line to, to create the path. Uh, first I want to select, I'm going to start at the origin. So I'm going to hover over the origin, and there's going to be a P, uh, so I know I'm selecting the origin. So I select the origin, go up, and I see a V and a C. The V means vertical, and the C just means that I'm on the line, and that's what I want. So I'm going to click. So now I have this line segment. I'm, now I want to make another line segment that goes horizontal. So I'm going to click this point, go over, and I see the H for horizontal. That's what I want. So I want this part to be curved. Right now it's just a 90 degree angle. Uh, and the way that you make a corner into a round corner is with this the fillet command. So I'm going to click fillet and it's going to give me a 0.3 inch radius. If we go back to our picture here, the fillet radius, which is this R here, they recommend one one and a half times the diameter. The diameter in our case is 10 inches. So we want our radius to eventually be 15 inches. Right now it doesn't really matter what our radius is because I'm going to go through and change all the dimensions anyways. So I'm just going to leave it at 0.3. So the way you create a fillet is you you select both lines that are inter, that intersect at the corner that you want to fill it. So in this case, it's this line here and this line here. So first I'm going to select one of the lines, it turns yellow so I know I highlighted it. Click another, click the other line, and it creates this fillet here, this curved corner. So now I can dimension everything. So if I go to dimensions and I click radius, I can dimension the radius of this fillet. 
and that's R1. Right now it's 0.3 inches. So our diameter of the duct, if you recall, is 10 inches. So 1 half times 10 is 15. So I'm going to change this from 0.3 to 15 inches. And this gives me a much larger uh, curvature here. And I'm also going to create uh, a dimension for this straight portion down here and the straight portion up here. If you're doing analysis, you would want these two uh, segments to be really large, maybe uh, 20 times the the diameter. In our case, I'm just going to leave it short. Uh, so I'll go 10 and 10 for each. So now I have the sweet path. Next, I want to create the profile that's going to be extruded along this path. So if we're looking down on it, you can imagine that the circle will start right here. And that's going to be on this XZ plane. So if I go back to model, go to the XZ plane. First, I'm going to always show sketch one so you can always see the path part. So if I click XZ, look normal to it, I want to create a circle. So I'm going to go down and do circle under the draw tab. I'm going to do it right at the origin. Now I'm doing it at the origin because that's exactly where our path starts. So you want to create the circle at the path. If we, if this line went past the origin, I would have to create a, diff, a new plane and then draw this circle on that plane. Uh, that's a lot more complicated uh, than what it needs to be. So that's why I started the profile at the origin. Or the path, excuse me. So I've created the circle. Now I want to uh, make the diameter 10 inches, like I said before. And now we have everything we need to create this sweep. So next, I'm just going to go up to the sweep feature up here, right next to the extrusion revolve. You can just forget about that warning, it doesn't matter. So the profile is going to be this circle here. So I'll click the circle and click apply. The path is going to be that these line segments here. Um, I'm just going to click select sketch one, which is all three of them, and click apply. And I want it to add material, so that's good. We can leave everything else as it is. Now I click generate, and it creates this curved elbow. So that's how we do uh, curvature. You can imagine if you have other curvature, you can just manipulate this path to create more curves. Uh, so the sweep command is very helpful with doing when doing curvature. If we were doing analysis as well, uh, if you remember the straight portion had an infinite number of lines of symmetry because it's a circle. In this case, we only have one line of symmetry, and that goes right down the middle here. Uh, so if you look this way, it's going to be symmetric along this line. So if you wanted to shorten up your domain, you would uh, create a line that goes through here and then slice through the body, and then get rid of this bot bottom portion here and just do analysis on the top portion. I'm not going to go through that because I'm not going to be doing analysis on this.